God did not create the world for man to suffer. God did not create man to suffer either. The devil, however, had other ideas when he deceived the woman Eve in the Garden of Eden through the serpent. God's original plan for man was that man would fellowship with him in the Garden of Eden. The moment you believe in the name of God, then you are set aside and marked by the devil. However, God has given us his promise that we shall be of good cheer because he has overcome the world. Apostle Paul further urges the Romans in the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 2. He says, Do not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. God is omnipotent, and he can bring us out of every difficult situation and circumstances we find ourselves in. Since God has a plan and purpose for us as his children, we should know that whatever we are passing through is for a better end. He would always deliver you from every situation you find yourself in. Jeremiah 11:29 affirms God's promise to us as his children, which says, For I know the thoughts and plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper and not harm you, plans to give you hope and the future. The moment you are in any form of situation or circumstances, just hold on to God and trust in Him that He alone can save and deliver you. One thing you should have in mind is that the moment you stray away from God, you become a target of the devil and you open yourself to different situations and circumstances. If you are in such a situation, it is crucial you run back to God in prayer and surrender all your totality to God and let Him take total preeminence over your life. Until you learn to surrender all to God in prayer, only then will God have control over your life. God can turn your situation around only if you let Him. Jesus says that Come unto me, all you who are very weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Jesus sees that situation that you find yourself. He knows the burden you are facing and that you cannot face them on your own. And this is why Jesus is always knocking on the door of your heart and praying for you to pen up. So until you give yourself up to God and let him take control all over your life, remember that God does not promise that there won't be difficult times and dilemmas. But what God promises is that he will be with you and deliver you from them all. Isaiah 43 2 says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned, the flames will not set you ablaze. God is ever ready to save and deliver. He is always on time. So do not be worried or discouraged. The Bible tells us that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. As Christians in the faith, you might face so many challenges and trials because of your faith in God. The world knows where you stand and it will test you, tempt you and try to beat you to submission. It is left for you to hold your ground amidst these adversities and trust in the Lord. By human strength, no man can prevail. And this is why God sends the Holy Spirit to become your guide, helper, teacher, and comforter. Through the power of the Spirit, 
you would be able to stand firm amidst trials and pains. 2 Corinthians 4.17 says, For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far weighs them all. We as Christians must be bear in mind that whatever situation and challenges you might be facing is for a little while. God in his infinite mercy will deliver you and uplift you when the time is right. So wait on the Lord and be patient. Do not allow the devil to shift your focus. The devil will try everything in his power to entice and tempt you just to abort the will and purpose of God in your life. It is left for you to stand your ground and not allow the devil to get a foothold in your life. The Bible tells us to resist the devil and he will flee. The situation you are in may be no fault of yours. Circumstances and situations in life can be a factor. No one chose to be born into suffering and pain. Yes, no one chose to be born into poverty. But what you have the power over is choosing to serve God. When you do this, you can be rest assured that God is willing to change your life forever. Psalms 11.3 says, When the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? However, we do have a Father who is ready to take us away from the captivity of sin and the devil. He is ready to deliver you from every evil situation that has tied you down. Jesus has paid the ultimate price on the cross and he has taken away our suffering. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, we have that assurance in his saving grace and he has given us a new life with God and the Father. Hence, there is no more suffering and shame anymore. This is because our Lord Jesus has gone to prepare a place for us. That place is our heavenly goal. It is a place where there is no suffering and shame anymore. It is a place where there is no poverty or lack, but where we will serve God forever and sing praises to his name. Only those who love God will be able to make it to his throne. The more you serve God, the more God is willing to bless you. The young lion does lack and goes hungry, but those who seek God lack no good thing. Psalms 34, 10. Through the power of prayer and positive thinking, God can meet your needs and deliver you from any situation in life. Sometimes you feel overwhelmed by the circumstances you find yourself in, it feels like nothing in the world can save you from the situation and circumstances of your life. There are many times you feel like giving up, but it feels as if nothing is working and there seems to be no answer to your needs. Do not give up, it is not over yet. Jehovah sees it all. He knows all your needs and wants. He knows how you feel. Keep praying without ceasing. Keep serving the Lord in spirit and in truth. Keep studying and obeying all God's commandments and keep trusting God. He has promised and he will never fail. The word of God is yea and amen. We serve a God who works in mysterious ways. He makes ways for you when all seems bleak. He made water in the desert. There is nothing too hard for God to do. There is no mountain too high for God to move. So there is no situation that God cannot change for good. God is ready for you, but he needs you to give yourself completely to him. Only then will he make a way. When faced with the situation and circumstances of life, do not lean on your understanding, rather cry out to God in prayer. Through the effective prayer, 
and strong faith in God, you can effectively move mountains. There is no mountain high or valley, no, too great for God to move. In conclusion, God has a plan. He has plans for you. Do not let your situation define who you are. You must know your identity in God and stand firm in His will and promise for you. This way you would have a strong confidence that no matter what you face, you will come out victorious.